Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I just want to share my calming process of filling in my Moxie Life Plan to Thrive workbook. They have a set of free downloadable and printable files on their website and I will link it down below. And I wanted to print the files on A5 sized paper, so I'll be cutting down some paper to that size. So it's a good thing that my replacement blades for my paper trimmer have finally arrived. They always come in a set of two. The orange is for cutting and the white is for scoring. The scoring made by this white one is too big for what I want, so I always end up scoring using a book binding awl, as you may have seen in some of my videos. Nevertheless, I will still install the white scoring blade on the paper trimmer just in case I eventually decide to use it and so also so I won't lose it. And I tried printing one of the pages on A5 size paper just to make sure that it will not turn out to be too small for me to read. And as you can see, it is still very readable. This is the standard A5 size like I intended. I, I made sure, I measured. I initially cut down some of this Bavania Splendor Gel paper in 115 GSM, but after I printed out one sheet on it, I remembered that this paper has some ghosting at the back, and that would annoy me very badly because I want to print the pages double-sided. This journaling prompt sheet was printed on the 160 GSM Bavania paper and as you can see it has no ghosting at the back so I went ahead and used my 160 GSM Bavania Splendor Gel. I have this in our long size which is 8.5 inches by 13 inches and each sheet can make two sheets that are A5 sized. I think it's pretty cool of Moxie Live to make these files available to everyone as free printables without any obligation to buy anything else. Of course, as you might already know, Moxie Life manufactures a full range of planner pages and planner inserts, but I have always made my own planner pages and planner inserts since 2013. That is my preference. It is just more convenient and cheaper for me. And I tweak my planner pages a lot, so it just makes more sense for me to create my own layered files for the planner pages and then tweak them as needed whenever I need and whenever I want. But I do appreciate that Moxie Life does not require us to buy their inserts if we download these workbook pages for free, so I guess this video is my own little way of giving them a shout out and a thank you and also to invite you all to go check out the Moxie Life website because I have been watching for many years now so many YouTube videos about their system and their physical planners and I think it's it's a pretty efficient system a lot of people have been using them with great success to shrink down the printing to fit my preferred A5 sized sheets I just played around with the scaling of the paper you can see it in the preview right here and I decided on 72% so that I can still get to keep the line of text at the bottom. I consider this line of text to still be part of the file so I wanted to keep that. And now here are all of the printed pages from the set. The workbook is actually very very easy to understand and very easy to use. There is absolutely no extra explanation needed other than what's already on the workbook. So props to Moxie Life for doing this very well. My only suggestion perhaps is before writing down anything, first read all of the instructions from start to finish and then write. And that's what I did. I worked on the entire workbook using my favorite mechanical pencil, which is the Tombow Monograph in 0 0.5. I have a review and comparison video of this pencil together with other Tombow pencils. I will link that video down below. The lead that I am using is a 4B lead, just in case you're wondering why my handwriting is darker than the usual mechanical pencil lines. I also used a separate eraser pen because even though my mechanical pencil already has a built-in refillable eraser, I do erase a lot. 
a lot 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 so having a separate eraser pen with an even longer eraser refill just makes my Tombow pencil eraser last so much longer and anyway I don't bring my eraser pen out of the house when I'm out and about I just use the eraser in my pencil because my pencil is the only thing I bring out of the house another thing that you will see me use is a mini vacuum cleaner to clean up all of the shavings from all of my erasures I think it's a very cute device and very handy it is rechargeable and I bought this almost two years ago and for several months I actually forgot that I had it but I found it recently so now I'm using it again also this would be my very first time to set my own goals in a guided manner usually I just jump in and set my goals after analyzing where I am at the moment and where I want to go and what resources and skills I already have in order to get myself where I want to go and what other resources and skills I need to acquire or develop or have access to in order to get where I want to be it is very very basic and that has worked for me for most of my adult life however I am at this stage in my life when I am preparing for my retirement so a massive change needs to be done and everything has to be intentional so I thought maybe a guided goal setting process would be helpful for me this time and that's why I am trying out this workbook from Moxie Life and at this point I'm just going to put on some nice music for you just in case you want to watch me filling in my workbook or maybe you also want to work on your own Moxie Life workbook or maybe you're using a different system of goal setting or just in case you just want to listen to some nice calming music while you're doing something else we can keep each other company
at this point, I thought I was finished. But it's a good thing that I realized that the ideal week that I have written down actually applies only to the time that I am still working on my graduate thesis. But that will be completely finished by the middle or the end of February. So the rest of my 2023 will have a different ideal week. So I went ahead and printed one more sheet of that and filled in my ideal week for my life after I finish my final thesis defense. On both ideal weeks, I did leave in some blocks of time for me to be flexible. I can use that time for making YouTube videos or for making notebooks or for spending time with Jawide or my son or just sitting somewhere by myself. I have mentioned before in a previous video that I don't do well with habits and routines. I will leave that video in the link below. But I also want to try out routines and habits now that I want to make some big changes in my life at this stage in my life. So maybe habits and routines will benefit me. But at the same time, I also didn't want it to be too rigid that I will end up resenting it. So for now, I think this is a good schedule to start with. I decided that this is more or less done, although I suspect that I will go back and tweak my answers. We'll see. But all in all, this is pretty much done, and this was a very calming process. I did not feel judged at all in any way. I felt like someone was just guiding me through what I need to know about myself and what I want to achieve so that I can write them down in a manner that is clear to me and from here I can make some actionable plans moving forward. I highly recommend that you also do this. I would also like to take this chance to welcome all of my new subscribers. My YouTube studio has tracked an upsurge in new subscribers for the past couple of weeks and I am so grateful and I am so happy. I appreciate every single one of you who have decided to subscribe not just now but in the past and I also appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos even if you are not subscribed. I hope eventually you do decide to subscribe. I will continue to give you original and good quality planner related and productivity related content as well as the occasional vlog showing some slices of my life here as I am living out my transitional moments that will bring me to retirement. And that is my video for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best this coming year.